And we got three guys looking for two more to form a team. We need two more players out there. If you're uh, not playing team yet, don't have a team commitment yet, come on up and see us. We'll get you on a team. We've got two more spots open here. <laughs> Hey, how's everybody doing out there? Uh, this is Kevin Kidd back with you here. Just uh, dropped off the little tykes. And uh, so you got uh, Danny Olson and Jesse Engel. This must be the finals. Or not. So is it 2-0 uh, now, Jesse? We'll get a quick update on the uh, bracket here. Okay, so Shane has a Shane's got the hill, so this must be the third place match then. Yeah, you put that much pressure on you. 
<laughs> okay. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Uh, my name is Kevin Kidd. I want to go ahead and uh, make a few shout outs to our sponsors here today. We have JJ Billiards of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Greg Marsh and John Scogan, Keith Hansen with Keith Q's, www.keithqs.com. Pool Tracks, Don Espinosa over there at Pool Tracks, that's uh, www.pool-tracks.net. The lifetime statistical analysis of your favorite professional pool players as well as amateurs. That was a very nice shot by Jesse. Got a little bit unlucky with that 14 ball rolling up behind that 7, but... And Raman Bakhtiari over there at uh, www.goplaypool.com, your uh, free app for your mobile device, both Android and iPhone mobile devices. You can find Midwest Amateur Pool in the live stream directory as well on that goplaypool.com app. The Grand Falls Casino Resort and Hotel here in uh, Larchwood, Iowa gracious uh, hosts here that uh, allow us to come out here and put on a great little show here for you. Yeah. Computer Care Solutions, Ross Engelbrecht at Computer Care Solutions in Sioux Falls, South Dakota for all your computer and electronic needs. 605-271-0887. And uh, how about uh, Daniel Bush over there at POV Pool? What a great guy he is, huh? A lot of the reason that uh, you're seeing this free live stream today is uh, due to Daniel Bush here and all the help that he's given me over the past year getting started. So thanks a lot, Daniel. If you know Daniel, why give him a shout out, handshake. table here is uh, Danny Olson. It's a good try there. Nothing in favor of Jesse. Hey, how's it going? Have a mic. Mic check check one two. Check check three four. Doesn't look like that. There's that many more people that have uh, filtered in here since I left. Few. Yep. 
Is Ryan in a mini tournament? For singles or team? Singles. He was in the B, yeah. Is he uh, still playing or did he win? No. Nope. Chris get in one too? Okay. Did Chris get in one too? Chris is out. Yep. Well, I know he's out of the main tournament, but did they play in any mini tournaments today? They both just played in one, yep. It was okay. single elimination and they're both out. Okay. Jesse, 3 0, Jesse. Did they race to 8? Um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking they're just going to 7. But I guess I'm not sure. I don't know if Jesse's given Danny one on the wire or not. Aren't they both uh, master baits? Right. Well, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but. Everybody else has been going to seven, or seven. except for when Shane plays, Shane, then they race to nine, and the other guy gets two So this will wire. be a race to seven? I think it's a race to seven. Should have looked at the paper closer when I first came in. So was that right, or is that one right? Well, yeah, this one's going to be right, because this is adding all of them up. Take one if you want. What's cool track cash contest? What is that? <laughs> well there for a while I pool tracks matches and if the players want to get in on a contest, the bar was putting up $25 bar tab and I was putting up $25 cash. If you beat the high score of 899, well, that high score has been beaten now by Dan Hine, who shot a perfect thousand. So we have to figure out some sort of revision. Probably just go with the 911 that Tippy shot against Dan in that match or something, because Dan's got a 979 and a thousand. Beat it twice. <laughs> so it's yeah, it'd almost be like uh, virtually impossible to get that high, you know. So. Basically, it keeps track of if you miss or not. So he never missed the, that match, so he got a perfect thousand. Yep, and they're just randomly picked. Um, like so many players, like four players will be picked. And if you knock them out of the tournament, then you get the $20. Yep. <sighs> Dry break. Let's see if he can run another table here. I missed that one. It'll be next when this match is over. For eight ball singles, it'll be this is the third place um, match. Third here. place match. So yep. as soon as this is over, then the winner of this will play Shane. Shane yep. is waiting to play the winner of this. Yep. Yep. All right, who won that last game? Anybody, anybody? Did Jesse get out on that one? Do you remember seeing that? that? The last rack before this one? Who got out? Was it Jesse? Yeah. Hopefully I'm right. 4-0. Because Danny wasn't shooting. He was shooting stripes. Okay, Jesse sure. won. See yep. right there, 6-12.
I already told him he won. He's just not paying attention. I just don't believe anything women tell me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, trust me. <laughs> I hear that all too often. <laughs> See, look at this. Water. Good. It's good for you. And it's free. Yeah. Imagine that. I think that's the only thing that the casino offers for free around here. It is, yeah. That and toilet paper. You get free toilet paper in the women's bathroom? Yes. Yeah, we have a quarter machine in our bathroom. Oh, shoot. I can and honestly it's a say. It's per square, too. I mean, is it? Oh, my gosh. It'd be an expensive one. Yeah, could you imagine that, having the, a quarter dispenser for toilet paper in public bathroom? I would get like one square, maybe two. I would hold it. Well, guys typically don't need that. I'd just go outside and grab a corn stalk. Yeah, corn stalk. And then you'll be having a... Uh, Chiggers or something. <laughs> so Jesse's shooting pretty, pretty salty here. He's kind of cute. Now he's probably a little young for you. You're my age. You're I like, yeah, I could probably be material. his mom. <laughs> but he's still cute. <laughs> recorded and you put them on you does the sound and everything come with it oh yeah you bet so yeah I like that one match that you and Justin were dropping the f-bomb like every other word it's like are you kidding me really I don't know I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch that because I don't remember that I yeah. only said it once I think might have yeah it might not be every other word but I might be over exaggerating just a little bit John Wayne TP in the men's room. Rough and tough and don't... What's it say? Don't take, take crap, crap off, off anyone. anyone. <laughs> oh. Well. And he has ran another rack, folks. He's just making this look easy. It's like 5-0 uh, in a race to 7. At this point, we got to be rooting for Danny. Come on, Danny. I'm politically correct by rooting for neither. You what? I'm politically correct by rooting for neither of neither, them. Neither of them. Or, well, may I say I'm well, rooting for both of them. As a pool player myself, it would not feel good to be down 5-0. I'm just saying. No. That's tough. Yeah. So come on, Danny. <laughs> now we have and a we cue have ball a come cue flying ball under the table. And a six ball flying off the table. Six ball while two. Jesse is. <laughs> and Danny just tosses Danny it on the Danny throws grill. the cue ball. <laughs> Just kind of tosses it back on the floor and lets it roll back over there. Jesse was just about ready to pull back for the break, too, and that ball come flying off the table. Oh, and he scratches. Oh. That is a beautiful table. I mean, I could mess it up, but it's a beautiful table for these guys. Pick your poison. Pick your poison. Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, stripes, solids. I mean, every ball goes 
I think he's going to shoot stripes. Yeah, this is a rack where I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Danny ran this rack and did not touch another ball except for the ball that he shoots. Oh, he's shooting solids. It's a lot tougher off the break because you have to shoot that in the kitchen, so yeah. changes things up there. Touch the 13 ball. I guess uh, I was wrong. Other than that little nudge on the 13, I don't think he's going to hit anything on the table here. It's pretty precise. like uh, shark 4488 you are the winner solids worked what did he win what's that what did shark win by picking solids free toilet paper it's free toilet paper there you go I would have thought solids too, just because the 12 balls down here on this bottom rail. But yeah. we have Danny on the board. Danny takes a scratch on the Shark paper. doesn't want nothing for picking solids. It is free, and uh, we're going to run this all night long again until they kick us out. Can't wait, wait for the next match. Yeah, it's going to be great. I should go ahead and uh, make a little note of there to all the fans. Who is Shark 4488? All right. Who is Shark 4488? I was curious, just curious, just it's, curious. Yeah, curious. Just never know. So we had uh, someone watching from Fargo last night. That was pretty cool. Fargo Billiards is logged in again. There's Mr. Fargo Billiards. It's very cool. Yeah, the one stream, uh, Justin shared it with a couple of buddies there from Indonesia or somewhere. Wow. Yeah, it's really interesting on the Ustream software. You can look and see all the different locations that have viewed your stream. Mm -hmm. like 33 different countries, I think, I, wow. it's on there. That's awesome. I'm going to get up and go look at that score sheet when they rack. But yes, we believe the score is 5-1. I believe it is 5-1. Harold from Hebron, Ohio. All right, nice to have you, Harold. Sweet. There's my cuz, Joe Kid. Joe Kid is in the house. Joe Kid. John Stitch just got a big old chocolate chip cookie delivered to him for his birthday the other day. 
Nice. Yeah. Uh, there's a kid that got disqualified today. <gasps> really? In the C division. What happened? He, uh, well, he he came up late last night and turned in his scorecard. Now was standing up there with John, and he was has this goofy leg, <laughs> you know. And uh, John's like, "Ah, oh, you see, you just you should be in the B, but you're still in the C." And the guy, and he's in the loser side, you know. And he's like, "Oh yeah, well that that was close, oh no, blah blah blah." And, well, anyway, today here I uh, I find out that that guy today. Opened up and ran two racks in one match. Raced to three, ran two racks, and supposedly in the C division, he shouldn't be running more than one rack all weekend. Yeah. And, a C uh, player should not be able to run a rack consistently. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, and not even halfway consistently. It should be just like a rarity. And this kid ran two racks off in the same match, and John disqualified him. Wonder what? wonder who he was. And he didn't seem like he was too upset. He's like, oh, yeah, they just disqualified me and bumped me up to a B. What about who played him, huh. though? How do they get back in it, you know what I mean, for having a player that's not? Oh, yeah, that doesn't matter. He just It's just like that guy that got disqualified last year for trying to, that pro that beat Shane overseas. Yeah. You know, and he came in and was trying to play in the A or the double A, and Shane was like, uh, no, 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 no. Peter, oh, Hi, Doorbell. Hi, Doorbell. Um, I guess to me, I just wouldn't take pride in knowing that I won a division that I shouldn't have played in. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think Danny won that last game, but I'm going to go check. What's the score? No, and uh, I can't remember the guy's name that got disqualified in the C division today. Um, See, who was the guy that got disqualified? Yeah. We don't know. I'm not sure what his name was. I can tell you that he was, he had glasses and he had a laugh like, I don't know, it was just goofy. It was like a snorty, hoopty laugh. So, <laughs> I just heard myself say, Joe Kid, what's the score? Joe Kid, what's the score? All right, look at that. Denny's on the board again. He's trying to make a comeback and make this a match. Uh, the longer you keep them in the seat, the colder they get. or missed a game in there. Dave Olson had a great comment. He said it'd be nice for viewers too if we had like a little little flapper, you know, with numbers on it that were Oh, the little uh, like a scoreboard like sitting scoreboard, over there like on, a, the, on the well, Yeah, just right on the table almost just well, kind of Okay, so tell me why do the why do the Okay. Sure sounds great, but why do the viewers, let's ask the viewers out there, do you think that you need to have a scoreboard sitting on the table, behind the pool table, with numbers being flipped over and everything? I guess what I'm getting at is if you look at what the viewers are seeing here, there's yeah. a scoreboard right on the there stream, yeah. right there. Yeah. Jesse Angle 5 yeah. versus Danny Olsen 2. It is on there. Maybe, maybe, uh... 
But even for us, if they would flip it, then we wouldn't have to get up. Oh, well. Because sometimes we'll I'm gotta... not paying attention. <laughs> I hate to admit that. A good streamer always pays attention. And Dave said that he was watching two matches yesterday and the score was 0-0. And I said, well, at least it's streaming. Because oh, sometimes, yeah. you know, we're not at the table or you're having to... It's a race to seven. And, yeah, then, like, yesterday... Go somewhere? Or? I was, uh, yesterday morning, Greg actually turned the stream on for me. Yeah, I wasn't just, even here because yep. I was with the twins. Couldn't get them off to school until 12 o'clock. Didn't get out here until a little after the, one. For the finals of nine balls. So, yeah, yeah we... We do our best, uh, you know, I mean... It's better than nothing. <laughs> right. Well, once I start selling pay-per-view tickets for 35 bucks a weekend, why... Uh, yep. Then you guys will get updated score. You guys will get updated <laughs> score every single match, and we'll hire in some some professional commentators, maybe. That don't swear. Yeah, that don't swear. Well, and... Uh, looks here like... Um, this might be a little sneaky here to get out of this jam box. It's going to just slow draw it back. Okay. No. Take it. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Oh, that's that's close. Hmm? Wow, what a great shot. Great shot. Jeez. Wow. He did he did throw a little bit of uh, a little bit of spin on that, a little bit of masse there you can tell. A little masse. So there's Tippy. Where did Tippy end up then? Did he get in the money? I don't believe so. Dave Hem, I thought, took him out of eight ball. Oh, okay. Like we have a score of six to two. So Jesse's on the hill. I'll tell you what, we have had some great action this uh, this week. Some real good action. I see uh, Matt and Angie Montgomery. They're over there in the audience uh, watching the match. Now, uh, gonna have to talk to Matt. I've been wanting to try to get Danny and uh, Shane in a match, and Angie and Matt's little boy and Greg Marsh's little boy in a match, and then okay. have team up with each one of them and do a little scotch doubles or something. That'd be awesome. Oh, look at this. I believe. Um at SDABA and Pier last weekend, their son Trevin got second oh, in juniors, yeah, yeah. and their son Chase got third in juniors. So, both really good shooters, following in their mom and dad's footsteps. Yeah, it was uh, Chase was the one that I had mm -hmm. seen at the three man, and Michael was playing him at the three man a little bit. And yep. I think Chase might be a little bit more advanced than Michael, but still, I mean. They both love yeah, it. They love it, and they'd love to be uh, featured on the stream, of course. Yep. 
There's an 11 year old uh, shooting here, practicing over with Shane Van Boning as we speak. He's just amazing. Oh, that'd be Tristan. Mm -hmm. Tristan Hansen. Yeah, he's, he's from Mankato or from the Mankato area. Minnesota area, yep. His sister uh, Taylor is here too, playing. I think she's 15 or 16. So did Tristan, uh, is he out or is he still in it, do you know? Or? I believe he was on the winner's side and he just played a match. I did not see who won. So if he won that match, then he, play, then he would be playing for the hill in the beat. I mean, and he's 11 years old. top of that ball. I don't think that's where he wanted to. Nope. Nope, this match is still on. So yep. um, he's on the hill. Is she with you? No, nope. she's not. I like how everybody thinks that I'm running the show. I've had so many people come in here. And you know, when you walk in the door, the first thing you see, if you look straight away, is the stage. Yeah. And a bunch of computers up there and printers and everything. But then you look over here to the left and you see the camera and the table and the computer here. Every, there's Not everybody, but there's been a plethora of people that have <laughs> walked over here. Is this where I sign in? Plethora. Is this where I register? Yes, it'll be $20 <laughs> in, in addition. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you register here. Uh, there's a stream fee of $10 per player. And then once you pay your stream fee, then you go up to the front desk and you play, pay your entry fee. Oh, great shot. That was. So do you want to do uh, you want to do the commentating for the championship match? Maybe. Because I got to go finish that 50-50 raffle. Cause oh, sure. I want to do the drawing at 8 o'clock when the team tournament starts. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can find uh, Chris Hammer out there to come over and yeah, they're practicing on that end table over there. They've been playing for like three hours, so they oh, need really? a break. Yeah. Maybe I'll send Chris and, well, maybe I'll send them both, Chris and Ryan. You guys can all do the show. This is weird, though. I don't have headphones anymore, so I can't hear what you're saying half the time. That's why I keep getting closer oh, to you. Oh, you know what? Look, well, I don't mind if you get closer to me. I mean, come on. But look what I got for you. Oh, see? I've been sitting here with nothing this whole time. There you go. Well, I had to put them over to the side because Parker had tore the padding and the black leather stuff off. And well, that's we have it. a winner. Good winner, that. winner. It's a great match. So I'm going to go see if I can't find them guys and uh, maybe get... Uh, Hammer and Ryan to come over and commentate the championship match. I'll finish that 50-50 raffle up. Because obviously there's going to be a huge crowd right here, so that'll open the pathways for me to walk. Yep. We'll be back, folks, with All the right. live championship. Shane Van Boning versus Jesse Ingle. Why is he packing us stuff up? It's just got to get it right back out again.
He must. Uh... Hello. Hi. Oh, nothing. No, I I went into work. He's like, set your computer up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so no, it was fine. I was just joking when I said. So no, I worked till 1:30 and then got home and got ready and. on a bunch of apps, so, yeah, yeah, I haven't talked to him, I don't know, I mean, from this morning, I guess, but, yeah, it's his weekend, yeah. yep, yep, okay, what time do you work tomorrow? One, okay. and then he took a break or what? I don't know what he was. Jesse.
get it on that? No. You want to sit here? No. I'll say, yeah, I'm not talking. I'm saying shit. I know. I will. I'm just going to be like, yeah, you know, he's probably going to take that. Oh, yeah, we should do it. Oh, yeah, so I'm, I'm here with Shane Van Bonen. <laughs> yeah, just, uh... <laughs> oh, people are freaking. Shane and uh, Jesse Angle. Oh, Danny Rollins. Um, Shane's playing. He's one stroke. I'm not even fucking trying. Sorry, let me tell you how my day went. How'd your day go? I took about $20. Yeah, it's $20. So I uh, woke up at 8 and kicked around. I ended up uh, taking a nap at 2 or 5. And then showered at 5. Slacker. You know, I forced it last night. I just quit and went home. It gets you know, to be long. <laughs> I got home about, about 3.30, 3.40. Yeah. Went to sleep about yeah. 4.10 after I ate some food. Got up at 9. <laughs> yeah, I get home at uh, 1.45. I get a text message saying my match is up. <laughs> There's no fucking way I'm home. Not that I would have come back. No. I wonder if he, why doesn't he turn it off? You just have to turn the mics on, right? Well, I turned them off because I didn't want to swear, but now they're like, <laughs> we lost the sound. I'm like, I know. I turned off the sound because I didn't want to swear. I'm just wondering why he's recording still. Why doesn't he turn it off and then it's handicapped. re-record? Shane will race to nine, Jesse will race to seven, so he'll get spot him two. Shane will probably. I hope we freaking But I wonder when they're starting. Should be starting now. Should have beat him too. Yeah. Spill all over his fucking equipment. I wonder how long Chad has been doing that. That had to be long. Oh, yeah. Well, and um, Chad had to get up at 6 this morning and bring his kids to daycare. He, he got like two and a half hours, maybe. And he looks exactly how he always does. But no, nothing can alter that. Am I going to lie? Yeah. Why? You may hear us. I turned yours off. Oh. I turned yours off. Oh. I've been kicking that all day. Well, we we uh, uh, we went through there a little bit. We, we went through your case a little bit. We liked what we saw. Switch it out for some other stuff. You now have a Viper. <laughs> yeah. Viper? Hey, that sounds is that fast. Yeah, it's good. It's one of the good ones. Fifty bucks, man. At any uh, sports yeah, store. At you guys, I gotta look in here. Now, you know, I have a here. <laughs> right, we're okay. We didn't open it. I did kick it once. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, oh, because I was like, so I walked past with Dan because I was watching the, the results. Thanks for and, watching. Yeah, thanks. I was like, I, I was like, Dan, I watched it. I was like, Dan, how'd you end up doing? I don't know. Sounds right. Not very good. And then he's walked away. Like, oh, sweet. Fucking. He never talks. Fucking prick. Yeah. Well, because he lost. I mean, he didn't yeah. When and he he's been playing the best pool of his life lately. Here? She just cussed at me when she turned off the sound. LOL. No, I don't, because uh, that Kevin kid's going around doing the raffle with his kids. Yeah. What do you even say? I mean, what? A, I guess I'm just going to use my That'd be funny extensive pool now. I to do the Shane. Should I? We have Shane's number one fan here. <laughs> Start doing it when he's playing. Like, yeah, you know, I can be in two places at once. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucking, yeah, I wonder how many hits would get nobody out. Nobody would know. No. They wouldn't either. They wouldn't have any idea. I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to be pulled out after this week. Yeah. Hey guys. How you doing, buddy? 